It is my pleasure to welcome His Excellency Mr. Chandra Kapsad Santrok, President of the Suriname. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Morning, all protocols observed, ladies and gentlemen. I'm standing here representing my country, Suriname, which is covered with 93% of rainforests, while our deforestation rate is less than half a tenth of a percent. With that, comes a high quality biodiversity which we must protect at all costs. Yes, we are a carbon sink nation and one of the only three carbon negative countries in the world and we are committed to keeping it that way. For us, for you all and the generations after us. Ladies and gentlemen, climate is a global good. The adverse impacts are felt by all and also us members of the Caribbean community, CARICOM. As part of the eight Amazonian countries united in the Amazon Cooperation Treaty Organization, ACTO, we are also committed to fight deforestation of the Amazon region. My country and people are forced to adapt to extreme dry and wet weather events which cause losses and damages. At the same time, we must respond to the legitimate demands of our population for economic development and diversification. This we do through a balanced approach consisting of developing the natural resources through environmental friendly strategy by sustainable forest management and active protection of biodiversity and also by continued transition to green energy and other green innovations and technologies. The recently announced offshore oil and other economic developments in Suriname will be developed on this basis, contributing to the energy security for the world. We are committed and confident that we will remain carbon negative and let that be very clear. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we must put into effect climate finance that actually works and which is easily accessible for all countries and people. Moreover, financial promises must be kept. It is imperative that we continue our efforts of putting the Article 6 rule book into practice and enhance the practical implementation of mitigation, adaptation, loss and damage, capacity building, and just transition finance. Conservation of our standing forests and biodiversity should be higher valued than reforestation. Financial methodologies accounting for removals is of utmost importance to nations like mine. Ladies and gentlemen, addressing climate issues requires political will and commitment from government and business leaders by inclusivity of everyone. In closing, let us not forget that there is only one planet and we do not inherit the planet Earth from our ancestors, but we borrow it from our children. So let's keep in mind that the planet will continue without us, but we humans cannot do without planet Earth. I thank you, and may God bless you all. I thank you, Your Excellency, for your statement.